Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be going over nine signs that show you have emotional intelligence. All right, all emotion is, is energy in motion. You're able to channel that emotional energy and put it towards something positive, putting towards something productive. All right, so you have a high sense of self-awareness. You came from the darkness that came forth into the light. You understand yourself on a mental level, a physical level, and a spiritual level. All right, so you're able to use that emotional intelligence that you've been working on to help others as well. All right, so there are many characteristics that show forth when you have emotional intelligence. And I'm about to go over, about to go over those characteristics in this video right now. All right, so let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first sign that you have emotional intelligence is you have a high sense of self-awareness. So when you have a high sense of self-awareness, you understand yourself, you know, on, on all the basic levels, the mental, the physical, the spiritual, all the above. You've done the shadow work. You've taken the time to look at yourself in the mirror. You've taken the time to analyze yourself, study yourself, get to know yourself, love yourself. All right. So when you notice that people who are always upset, who are always complaining, who are always, you know, angry at the world and things of that nature, most of the time they've never taken the time to understand themselves and to know themselves better and to love themselves overall so when you are an emotional intelligent emotionally intelligent person you've done the work to where you're able to understand yourself so you can you know uh, have that ability to be empathetic towards others to to be empathetic towards yourself right you have that keen sense of yourself and you always want to learn more and more about yourself as you go on through this journey called life now, the second sign that you have emotional intelligence, you're very observant of other people. So you may be the type of person who who is in a specific public setting, whether that be school, work, the mall, the movies. You, you may be out with your friends and things like that. You may be a, a, an observant type of person. You like to you know scan the whole room. You like to scan people and you know, uh, observe people and things like that. Not in a creepy type of way. But you're just an observant person. You like to, you know, you, you look at a person's body language or a person's facial expressions and things like that. So you might see a person, you know, across the table or across the room. And you might say to yourself, you know, that person looks like he's mad about something or she looks like she's upset about something. She looks sad. She looks depressed and things like that. And you may you may want to go out your way to help that person or to see, you know, what's going on with that person. All right. So when you have emotional intelligence, you're very observant. When you come into any type of public place or you may you may be with your family or with your friends, your co-workers and things like that, you are able to observe a person's body language or observe a person's, you know, facial expressions and, you know, things like that. You're able to detect and sense what that person is going through or what type of emotions or emotion this person is going through or what this person is doing and thinking and things like that. So when you have emotional intelligence, you're very observant. You like to observe other people and, you know, you're very good at that. You are, you are a very good observant person. You like to observe people's, you know, body language, and, you know, facial expressions and feelings and things of that nature. So the third sign that you have emotional intelligence, you think before you speak. Now, when you have emotional intelligence, you actually take the time to think before you speak. You might, you might have certain people in your circle or in your group whether that be your friends, your coworkers, or anybody like that. And they just speak without even thinking. They say what they want to say. They have no filter. They have no regard on how what they're going to say will affect their relationship with the person that they're talking to or, you know, how that's how it's going to make them look. They have no regards for that. They don't care. They just say what they want to say. They want to run their mouth and just say what they what, say what they feel. But with you, with emotional intelligence, you actually take a step back into analyze and to think about what you're going to say. You might say to yourself, you know, is it what I'm about to say going to affect my relationship with this certain person that I'm talking to? Is this going to, you know, paint a picture on me? Is this going to shed any type of light? You know, how is this going to make me look? How is this going to make me feel? How is this going to affect my relationship with this person that I'm speaking to? So when you have emotional intelligence, you actually take the time to think what you're about to say. So the fourth sign you have emotional intelligence, you're not easily offended. 
So when you have emotional intelligence, you don't get easily offended. You you have, you know, certain people around you, they might they they, they might get riled up, they might get mad, they might get upset by the things that people say about them. But you but with you with high emotional intelligence, you don't let outside external influences, people, environments, circumstances, situations, you don't let anything outside yourself offend you or make you mad and things of that nature. So people without emotional intelligence who can't control their emotions, who have no keen sense of self-awareness and self-righteousness, they let things outside themselves dictate their feelings and emotions. That's why they always get upset about certain things that they shouldn't be getting upset about. You know what I'm saying? So when you have emotional intelligence, you don't let people, people that are talking about you or, you know, uh, making fun of you or, you know, trying to do things to get you upset or any type of situation you're going, <clears throat> you're going through, you know, things like that. You don't let other things, you don't let things outside of yourself dictate who you are. So you are observing, you are poised, you are in control. You are, you are in control of your own emotions and your own destiny and your own life. And you, you don't let other people take that away from you. All right. So the fifth sign, you have emotional intelligence. You're the peacemaker in the room. So let's say, for instance, you are with your friends or you're with your coworkers or you're with your family and things like that. There may be times where everything is in chaos. Everything is in turmoil. Every, you know, certain people are arguing. Some people are fighting. You know, some people are complaining. It's just a whole bunch of toxic negativity in the room but you with high emotional intelligence you're able to step inside step in the middle step in the playing field step in the playground and to be the peacemaker above everybody else you're able to calm the person down you're able to come up with solutions most people are complainers and not salute and not solution based people they don't come up with any type of you know problem problem solving solutions and things of that nature so when you have emotional intelligence you're able to step inside the emotional crowd. You're able to step inside the negativity and the difficult people who are always complaining and, you know, not coming up with, you know, a, any type of solution to solve the problem and things like that. So you're able to step aside and to come up with different solutions and to, you know, uh, be the peacemaker and to, you know, elevate people, elevate people's consciousness, ele elevate people's uh, emotions and turn it into a positive thing. You're able to... You're able to turn a negative into a positive. All right. So when you have emotional intelligence, you are the peacemaker in the room. You're always providing peace. You're always coming up with coming up with different positivity, uh, you know, things like that. All right. So the sixth sign you have emotional intelligence, you're very mindful of your own thoughts. So when you have emotional intelligence, you are very mindful of your own thoughts. You're very mindful of the type of thoughts that you have in your mind. Or a person who doesn't have any type of emotional intelligence, who can't control their emotions, they have no, they don't, they're not very mindful of their own thoughts. They're not very mindful of what they're, what they're putting in their minds, what they have in their minds. All right, they tend to let neg negative thoughts control them, dictate them, di dictate who they are. And they get so riled up and you know, they feed more into the negative thoughts than they do, th than they do with their positive thoughts. So when you are an emotional, intelligent person, you are very mindful. You catch yourself. When you catch yourself slipping into negativity, negative thoughts, you actually catch yourself. You ask yourself, you know, why, why are these negative thoughts coming up? You know, I shouldn't be having these negative thoughts. I shouldn't be having these thoughts lingering in my mind and let them, letting them, you know, dictate my thoughts and feelings and actions and things like that. So when you are an emotional, intelligent person, you are very mindful of what you put in your mind. And you are very mindful of the negative thoughts that creep in in your mind. You always want to stay positive. You always want to stay a positive person. You always want to be a positive person. And you want to stay within that positive line. You want to stay in that positive aspect of your life. So when you are an emotional intelligent person, you catch yourself whenever you, when you're catching yourself slipping, you always bring yourself back up and you're always staying on course. So the seventh sign that you have emotional intelligence, you value your authentic self. Now, when you have emotional intelligence, 
You have that self-love about yourself. You value yourself as a whole. You value your authentic self. All right. So most people, they might not have that self-love about themselves. They might not love themselves. They might not cherish themselves and express themselves in a positive way. So they tend to, you know, talk about themselves, have a negative perspective on themselves, have a, you know, shed a negative light on themselves. You know, people who tell them, you know, you're not good or you're not this, you ain't that, you know, things like that. And they tend to listen to those people. They tend to, you know, try to become a, you know, somebody that they're not and things like that. They tend to have that mask on that to uh, hide who they truly are and things like that. But when you, when you have emotional intelligence, you have that emotional drive to want to become a better person each and every day and to strive and to grow as a human being that you are, you always value yourself. You always take the time to appreciate yourself and to tell yourself and give you affirmations to yourself and always telling yourself that you are a valuable human being. You are a son and daughter of God and you always have that love for yourself and God has made you unique in your own unique way. All right. So when you have emotional intelligence, you always tell yourself and let you let yourself know that you are special. You are a special person on this planet. You have a gift. You have a purpose. And you don't let anybody take that away from you. You don't let anybody, you know, tell you that you're not, tell you something that you're not. Or you can't do this. You can't do that. You tell yourself that you can do this. You can do that. You have that value. You have that gift. You have that discernment. You have all the qualities that you need to become a better person each and every day. So when you have emotional intelligence, you always value your authentic self. You're always yourself. You always want to exp express your emotions and express who you truly are in a meaningful and impactful way. And you're not afraid of judgment at all. So the eighth sign, you have emotional intelligence. You are empathetic slash you like to help others. Now, when you have emotional intelligence, you, like I said in the beginning, in the beginning of the video, in the many other points, you taking the time to discover yourself and to understand yourself and to help yourself. With the help of God, you're able to help yourself in a, in a positive light, in a positive manner. So you might want to help other people, you know, the things that you may be going through, somebody else is going through the same thing and you want to help those people. You want to help other people overcome what you've been going through. All right. You are very empathetic towards others. You love helping people. It uplifts your spirit. It makes you happy when you help other people. That's a, that's how you know that this is your sole purpose. If you love helping people, it makes you happy to help people. It opens your heart. You know, you become receptive, you become more empathetic, and you, it just uplifts your spirit. It fills your spirit up to want to help people and to teach people and to be of service to others. All right, so when you are emotionally intelligent, you're able to help yourself, and that leads to helping others. You want people to, you know, see the value, to see the value in themselves. All right, so when you have emotional intelligence, you're always willing to be empathetic towards others and you want to help other people to help them grow and develop into the person that they want to become and that they, and that they need to become. And then the ninth and final sign you have emotional intelligence. You don't dwell too much on the mistakes you've made. So we're all human, right? Let's admit it. We're all human. We're all human at the end of the day. We're all going to be making mistakes. All right? We're not perfect. We are, we are not perfect in the slightest, in the, you know, in the sense of the word. We are not perfect in any way, shape, or form. But when you have emotional intelligence, you don't dwell on the mistakes that you made, you know, in, in the past or, you know, sometime in your life, right? You might, you might have made, you know, a, a mistake in a relationship, you know, a, you know, a personal relationship with your spouse, your partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, you know, your friends and things like that. You might have made a mistake here and there. We all make mistakes, but it's it's important for us to not dwell on those mistakes, to not attach ourselves to our mistakes. All right, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. All right. So you don't define yourself by your mistakes. You don't define yourself by the negative thoughts you're having because you are not of your mind and you are not of your body. Right? You are inside this human vessel to experience life, to experience mistakes, to, to experience 
uh, heartaches and trials and tribulations, everything that you're going through in life. But you can't, but you have to understand that you can't define those things and define those difficult times and difficult situations. You can't let those things define you. All right. So we're here to learn. We're here to grow. We're here. We're here to make mistakes. We're not here to be perfect. If we're here to be perfect, then what's the point of life? What's the sense of, you know, what's the sense of being here? All right, we need to, you know, go through life and to experience different things and to make mistakes. And when we make mistakes, we're able to learn and grow from them. But it's important to not make those same mistakes over and over and over again. We're, we, are, we need to be able to learn from these mistakes. That's the only way for us to grow in this life is to make mistakes and to learn from these, and to learn from these mistakes and so on and so forth. So when you have emotional intelligence, you don't dwell on those mistakes. You're able to learn from learn from those mistakes. You're able to grow from those mistakes. All right. So let's recap today's video. These are nine signs you have emotional intelligence. One, you have a high sense of self-awareness. Two, you're very observant of other people. Three, you think before you speak. Four, you're not easily offended. Five, you're the peacemaker in the room. Six, you're very mindful of your own thoughts. Seven, you value your authentic self. Eight, you are empathetic slash you like to help others. And number nine, you don't dwell too much on the mistakes you've made. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hopefully, this video helps you out and to, you know, emphasize and to help you and to, you know, shed some light and help you work on your emotional intelligence. Always, you know, become self-aware. Have that self-awareness. Always developing yourself. Always growing. Always learning. And always loving yourself at the, at the end of the day. That's the most important part. That's the most important piece, in my opinion, is to love yourself. Once you are truly able to love yourself and to appreciate yourself and to respect yourself and not try to be somebody that you're not, then that's when you develop and grow and harness that ability to have that emotional intelligence. All right. So hopefully this video helps you out. All right. So until next time. And always remember, all power resides from within. And always keep the faith because God and the universe is always working for you. Take care, guys. God bless.